Hello guys, today I'm going to talk about the most popular forex trading asset, i.e. Euro USD currency pair. So we shall dive into the history of Euro USD, explore modern trends and have a look at Euro dollar trading strategies. So uh, the euro dollar pair, uh, euro, which is a base currency, USD, which is a quote currency, is the most popular forex trading asset, also known as the major currency pair, which is justified. Trading the euro USD foreign exchange pair uh, accounted for almost a quarter of all FX trades, according to the BIS, the Bank of International Settlement Survey. Its main competitors, USDJPY, which is the US dollar against the Japanese yen, and the GBPUSD, which is the British pound against the US dollar, account for about 13 and 9%. Therefore, the EURUSD is the most liquid currency per traded. The popularity of the EURUSD currency per is fueled by high media attention and investors' demand. From 2016 to 2019, the Forex currency per daily trading volume increased from $5.1 trillion to $6.6 trillion, while the share of your USD increased by almost 1%. So it's about $600 billion right now. The USD's history began after the proclamation of the United States independence in 1776, when the dollar became the local currency. And so the influence of the greenback as the dollar is called because of its color, increased significantly after World War II. The British pound could not compete with the dollar due to the weakness of the UK economy. For a long time, Europe had been watching a design to create a common currency that would outperform the US dollar. And as a result, in 1999, the euro emerged. A single currency for 19 member countries of the eurozone. A lot of time has passed since then. Trading the US dollar is dominant in the Forex, which is a Forex exchange global market. And according to the IMF data and the International Monetary Fund, the greenbacks share in the FX reserves of the world's central bank as of December 2020 is 59.5%. The share of the euro is 20.6%. However, we cannot say that the single European Union currency is not a competitor to the US dollar. And before the euro introduction, the share of the US dollar exceeded 71%. Now, let's check some historical charts. The euro USD features a quite high volatility on hourly volatility chart and daily volatility chart. In the beginning, the euro USD currency pair was trading below parity. However, starting from 2002, one euro has never been below one dollar. And so the euro dollar all time low is 0.82. The record high is close to 1.604. In 2020, the global economy faced a recession and global financial crisis, which lasted for only two months. And because of the panic in financial markets, the demand for the greenback sharply increased. And as a result, the euro USD pair dropped to a level of 1064 the lowest since April 2017. And so the central authorities launched colossal monetary incentives of trillions of dollars to support their economies. The Federal Reserve Bank was even called crazy because of a sharp funds rate cut from 175% to round zero. And the start of the QE at the monthly pace of $120 billion. So the Federal Reserve balance sheet was growing rapidly, approaching $9 trillion, and the US dollar weakened against a basket of major currencies. In particular, the euro from January to March was almost 16% up and reached $1.234. In late 2020, the euro was expected to be trading up. Interbank market, including the Federal Reserve, suggested the Euro USD should have exceeded 125 in 2021. Some aggressive bulls expect the Euro to be around 1.3 US dollar. In reality, things turned out to be quite different. Due to the slow vaccination in the EU, which turned into new lockdowns and a double recession, the Euro collapsed to 1.1705. And thanks to vaccines, investors became reassured in a global economic recovery. Furthermore, the EURUSD buyers were again encouraged to invest in Eurodollar by a successful vaccination campaign in the EU and the Fed's unwillingness to recognize a surge in US inflation. 
The pair was up to 1.226 in late May. Bulls again were aiming at 1.25, but the FOMC June projection broke the uptrend again. The Fed started talking about a potential federal funds rate hike in 2022, which encouraged investors to buy the US dollar. And the USD trend with considerable momentum depends on what stage of the cycle the global economy is. During a recession, the demand for safe haven assets, including the US dollar, increases. As a result, the euro dollar goes down. During a recovery from recession, investors are not that focused on preserving the money. Retail investors search for ways to multiply the deposit. At this stage, the fundamentals driving the Euro-USD currency pair are the GDP growth rates and the monetary policy of European central banks and the Federal Reserve. A strong economy is a strong currency, so they say. The rapid rebound of GDP after the recession is a reason to buy securities of the country. In particular, the belief that the US economy will fully recover from the 2020 recession in the second quarter of 2021 and exceed its potential level in 2022 contributed to the S&P 500 rally by 18% from January to early August. As a result of the capital inflow into the US stock market, the US dollar was strengthening. The GDP rate is a reliable indicator, but unfortunately, it's lagging. The GDP report is published a month or month and a half after the end of the quarter. Therefore, it is very difficult to determine whose economy is growing faster at a, at a particular time, which doesn't provide a clear picture of the current economic situation to investors. That is why currency pairs traded have to monitor some leading technical indicators such as the US and Eurozone PMIs. The more the economy hits, the more likely the European Central Bank or other central authorities to phase out the quantitative easing program and hike the interest rates. As a result, these assets denominated in the local currency grow more attractively. This is why the US dollar is currently strengthening against a basket of major currencies. And to understand the Fed's intentions, one should track such indicators as inflation and unemployment rate. When these indicators reach the threshold set by the Fed, the central bank starts scaling back monetary stimulus. In this case, the greenback will grow in value. Speeches of bank's representatives are important in forecasting the EURUSD exchange rate. The officials' comments give a clue on how the European Central Bank or US Federal Reserve's policies could change and investors could develop trading plans based on this. Okay, so we summarized some of the fundamentals that influence the price chart, the price rates of the Euro USD. Now we will talk about what is the best time to trade Euro USD. So, first we need to mention that you can day trade Forex currency pairs around the clock at any time when it is convenient for you. It's important to note that your own risk increases in the most volatile hours. And so, the Forex currency market operates 24 hours a day from Monday till Friday. And so, from midnight till 9 p.m. UTC Asian trading session is, from 7 a.m. to 4 p.m. UTC European trading session is, and from 1.30 to 10.30 UTC is American trading session. So the volume of transactions usually increases during the crossovers of several trading sessions. So from 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. UTC and from 12.30 a.m. UTC to 4 p.m. UTC when Asian close day trading positions and Europeans on the contrary enter the market. And so the same is true for the crossover of European late afternoon and New York morning trading hours, which is normally the most active. So according to BIS research, London is the major trading center. In 2019, it accounted for 43% of all foreign exchange trade activity. The capital of the UK is the center of the European session where EURUSD, GBPUSD, USDCHF, EURGBP, EURCHF and other currency pairs exchange rates are mostly traded. So the second largest trading center is famous New York, the share of which in the total volume of forex transactions is 17%. Other trading centers are Singapore, Hong Kong and Tokyo. And so, Singapore has 7.3, Hong Kong 6.7, uh, and Tokyo 6.1%. 
Americans prefer to trade Euro dollar exchange rate, USD CAD, which is the US dollar against Canadian dollar, and other currencies with US dollar in pairs. The Asian trading session has its favorites, the USD JPY, one currency pair, as well as AUD USD, which is the Australian dollar against US dollar. Then we have Australian dollar against Japanese yen, New Zealand dollar against US dollar, again New Zealand dollar, dollar against Japanese yen, and some others as well. So, what is the best time to trade? If you are not going to invest a billion dollars in one trade, liquidity is not your problem. Increased volatility is observed during the crossovers of a trading sessions. At that time, the news is actively published. In general, it all depends on the EURUSD investing strategy that you apply. So now, we move on to technical analysis. So guys, freedom of creation, what could be better? EURUSD is one of the most liquid forex pairs, so you can use absolutely any technical analysis method to predict the future price of this liquid forex pair. So are you a chartered market technician and a fan of a price action? No problem, do what you like. Discover the repeating chart patterns and use them to determine entry points. Are you a fan of indicators? You can apply any reliable indicator, MACD, RSI, stochastic, pivot points, support and resistance levels, or ADX, whatever you like. Everything will work in trading EURUSD. Do you prefer the market profile, VSA, Elliott wave technical analysis, Keltner channels, support and resistance levels, or margin zones? Any ideas within these areas can be implemented on the Euro dollar technical analysis chart in MetaTrader, for example. The trading approach should satisfy the trader and yield a positive result. But remember, every pip contributes to your deposit. So now we move on to trading strategies that can be used for trading. So in Forex trading, only strict adherence to the trading system rules allows one to save the deposit and increase the capital. So now I will analyze several strategies that have proved to be profitable among foreign exchange traders. So. Examples here refer to day trading, but the strategies will work in intraday trading as well. First one is simple moving average crossover. The moving averages are a simple and efficient tool for trading Forex. So when the MAs frequently cross the EURUSD chart, it means consolidation. Otherwise, if the MAs rarely meet with the price chart, it signals that prices generate considerable momentum. During such a period, there is an opportunity to trade liquid forex a pair, which is the euro USD, on the continuation of the initial trend direction. So now let's talk about the rules uh, to buy the euro USD. Number one, the trend is up. Number two, the price chart crosses the 14th trading day moving average downside. Number three, the breakout bar or candlestick uh, closes above the 14 period EMA. Number four, set a buy order at the high of the breakout bar. Now the rules to sell. First one, the trend is down. Second one, the price chart crosses the 14 trading day moving average upside. Number three, the breakout bar closes below the 14 period EMA. And number four, the sell price is at the low of the breakout bar. And so, as you see from the USD price chart, the strategy is a successful amid clear trend. If the trend is broken, a trader will face a loss. Of course, there should be a stop loss to ensure negative balance protection. So the next one is pullback and breakout. So retail traders often say that the market is boring when it is trading flat, which means it is in consolidation. In fact, one should pay much attention to the forex market when there is a narrow range pattern of price fluctuations. Experienced traders knows that big traders, which is the funds and institutional investors, Get in the game when the market seems to be trading flat and there is little market activity. As a result, there emerges a general trend. And so, conditions to buy the USD. First, we need to have the consolidation, which is a sideways trend. Second point is price needs to test the channel's upper border and rolls back. Point number three, price retests the upper level after two to five bars and closes above the upper border of the consolidation range. So fourth point is enter along at a breakout level or at the level of the breakouts bar close. So now conditions to sell. 
again, number one, we need to have a consolidation. Number two, price needs to test the lower border of the channel and need to roll back. Point number three, price retests the lower level after two to five bars and closes below the lower border of the consolidation range. Point number four, we need to enter a short at the breakout level or at the level of the breakout's bar close. After the price goes beyond the consolidation range, it often retests it, it goes back to the border or the range. And so in this case, there appears another entry point. And so in this example, this happens in the second case. So another thing what also you can do is to follow planned events. Large traders always plan their actions. Interbank, mar interbank markets and hedge funds understand that they are not the only participants in the market. So a strong opponent can appear at any moment. Therefore, all trading decisions must be justified. Investment ideas are often based on the fundamental analysis of the market, which is the political and economic data, future policy direction of the SEC, for example. And in this context, news trading takes news trading takes on a special character. Important events planned in the economic calendar include reports on inflation, employment, GDP, PMI, meetings of the ECB and the Fed, as well as the presidential elections in the USA or parliamentary elections in the EU countries. All these planned events could result in radical EURUSD price moves. And so, for example, we have the first case. In early March, the Fed chair didn't express any concern about the S&P 500 drop. And so investors were puzzled as they believed that the central bank should spare no effort to support the US equity market. And therefore, the demand for safe havens surged and the Euro USD crashed. Second case, in early May, a weak reading of the employment data encouraged the Euro USD bulls to go ahead. The indicator was almost four times less than Bloomberg experts expected. So, third case. In mid-June, the Fed signaled a possible funds rate hike in 2022 and the euro uptrend was broken. So, if you trade on the news, you should observe the following rules as well. So, number one rule. If the euro USD starts consolidation ahead of an important event, you should put a buy order above the upper border of the consolidation range as well order below the lower border. Number two. If the forex pair is rising or falling a few trading days before an important report publication or a central bank's meeting, one could follow the buy the news, sell the facts principle. Number three, a stop loss will limit the potential loss. A stop loss is necessary for balance protection because the volatility increases when the important news releases. Therefore, you can make quite, quite a profit from trading the EURUSD. So choose the most suitable trading system for you, monitor central banks, statement and economic calendar, and most importantly, always learn. You will become a successful trader if you understand the market processes. And so guys, on that note, I will end this video. Thank you guys for watching, hope you learned something along the way, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care and goodbye.